Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel, Math is Fine. I am Teacher Cheryl. And for those who are new in this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video, and click the notification bell so that whenever I uploaded a new video, you will be notified. Stay tuned! Our lesson for today is all about identifying and writing equivalent ratios. Study the pictures at the left. The following ratios can be formed using the pictures. But before that, let's define first what is a ratio. When we say ratio, it is a comparison of two quantities. Ratios can be written in colon form or in fraction form. So if we're going to compare four balls and two rackets, our first ratio is 4 is to 2 in colon form and 4 halves in fraction form. And if we're going to compare 8 balls to 4 rackets, our ratio is 8 is to 4 or 8 fourth. What is the relation between the two ratios? 4 is to 2 and 8 is to 4. To find the answer, let us reduce the ratios to lowest terms by dividing both terms of its ratio by their GCF or the greatest common factor. Our first ratio is 4 halves or 4 is to 2 and the GCF of 4 and 2 is equal to 2 so we're going to divide 4 halves by 2. 4 divided by 2, the answer is equal to 2, and 2 divided by 2, the answer is equal to 1. 2 over 1, in simplest form, is equal to 2. Another ratio, 8 fourth. The GCF of 8 over 4 is equal to 4, so we're going to divide it by 4. 8 divided by 4, the answer is equal to 2, and 4 divided by 4, the answer is equal to 1. And the simplest form of 2 over 1 is equal to 2. 4 halves and 8 fourths have the same lowest term, which is equal to 2. Therefore, 4 halves and 8 fourths are equivalent ratios. Equal ratios have the same lowest terms. One way of knowing if the two ratios are equal by reducing the ratios to its lowest term. Another method to find if the two ratios are equal is by equality of ratios. In the equality of ratios, A over B is equal to C over D, where A and D are called the extremes, while B and C are called the means. Note that A over B is equal to C over D can be written as A is to B is equal to C is to D, where A and D are the extremes and B and C are the means. In equal ratios, the product of the means is equal to the product of the streams. Another term for equal ratios is proportion. Test if the following ratios are equal or proportion. 3 is to 9 is equal to 5 is to 15. To know the answer, we're going to multiply the extremes and the means. 3 times 15 is equal to 9 times 5. The product of 3 and 15 is equal to 45. And 9 times 5 is equal to 45. Therefore, 3 is to 9 is equal to 5 is to 15. 3 is to 9 and 5 is to 15 are equivalent ratios. Another example, 8 is to 10 is equal to 12 is to 14. To find the answer, again, we're going to multiply the extremes and the means. 8 times 14 is equal to 10 times 12. 
8 times 14 is equal to 112 is equal to 10 times 12 is equal to 120. Is 112 equal to 120? Yes, it is not equal. Therefore, 8 is to 10 is not equal to 12 is to 14. To find a ratio equal to a given ratio, multiply or divide the terms of that ratio by the same non-zero number. For example, one-fifth. One-fifth is the lowest term, so we're going to find the equivalent ratio by multiplying both numerator and denominator by the same number. For example, 4 over 20 yet. How do we get 4 over 20 yet as an equivalent ratio of one-fifth? We simply multiply both numerator and denominator by 4. 1 times 4 is equal to 4. 5 times 4 is equal to 20. And we can write this one also in colon form. 4 is to 20. Another example, 20 over 40. 20 over 40 is the higher term, so we can divide both numerator and denominator by the same number to get the equivalent ratio. Just like for example, 4, 8. How do we get 4, 8 from 20 over 40? We simply divide 20 over 40 by 5 over 5. 20 divided by 5 is equal to 4. 40 divided by 5 is equal to 8. And we can write this one also in colon form. 4 is to 8. This is the way how to get the equivalent ratio from lower to higher term and vice versa. Hope that you understand our lesson for today and thank you for watching.